Yeah, so that happened. Um, good news, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually inside the Optic Gaming versus Prof Game. We have broadcaster mode as well. Uh, we'll throw up dual screen. Throw up dual screen. Yeah, throw up a dual screen. This one's in the uh, start of that hard point. Yeah, so nothing crazy. We can, we can watch. Yeah, we can watch the end of uh, the NV SB, and then we can also watch this the same. It's glorious. This new format of the show, it's right. like, why did we never think of doing this before? We can I watch mean, both at the same damn time. It's like, who doesn't want to watch more COD action from the 5K? I feel like everyone wants to watch as much as they possibly can. Right. And this enables you to do so. Yeah, and now uh, you see uh, Optic Gaming taking uh, no short time to start off with a huge lead up 19 to 3 already against Prof on this middle hard point. Uh, That's pretty tasty. Yeah, I remember when I said it doesn't look like there's a clear cut favorite to win the uh, 5K. I might have been yeah. wrong. <laughs> Maybe a little bit right there is. Uh Unfortunately, Nameless not able to stop that cap on the right-hand side. Of course, if you are just tuning in, give you an update. Prof versus Optic Gaming on your left-hand side. First map of that semi-final. On the right-hand side, we have Nameless and the boys at MB taking on SB. MB 2-1 down in that best of five. That's a quarter-final matchup as SB have just ran a huge train over there on the right-hand side. MB now 10-6 trailing. Optic Gaming 22-17. Ricky. Actually going to win that kill. Nicely played from him. Nature jumps on that hard point. No, he's currently 5-5, five and five, so he's got a good start. Yeah, I mean, you know, pretty good plays right there. Optic Gaming still holding their lead, but not by as much as it was on that first hill. But, uh, you know, going back to that NVSB game, NV down by four. Looks like about two minutes to go. Going to be tough to come back. But uh, just in general, Ben, I think they played a lot better today than I think we've seen. Yeah, yesterday was a really poor performance from NV. I mean, honestly, like, they, they fell in. I think it was like round two and they had a buy round one it wasn't wasn't pretty I'm not gonna lie um very very much underperformed today though i would still kind of favor them against sb i feel even though they've had a well actually no i wouldn't sb just play, played so well online well, recently it's hard been to pretty say. hot today i feel like uh if you were to play this series like 10 times over the next 10 days i feel like envy would probably win the majority of them yeah just recent form definitely favors sb there is, how long is left in that game? One minute, 30 Looks, seconds. Yep. Envy still down by four. Of course, Optic Gaming with a little bit of a lead. Krim on that hard point right now on the left-hand side <coughs> of your screens. And as soon as that Envy game is over, of course, we'll get to full screen. Bring you the remaining action of this hard point solar game. 15 and eight formal, kicking things off. He's on a two streak as well. But he's playing very, very nicely. They have a 30 point lead as well in the hard point score. So it's looking looking good for Optic Gaming to take this. It's the scariest part about this Optic Gaming team. I mean, if they can ever figure out a way to get all these guys clicking at one time, I mean, it, it's just, it's over. Yeah. I mean, it's really, <laughs> it really I mean, is. That's it's just really this. the only way to put it. I mean, there's just too, ta too much talent uh, on that team. I mean, you know, formal, uh, it might be the you know, best console first person shoot player ever. Uh, yep. No strong argument to suggest he is. Yeah, I mean, uh, Crim's not too bad of a <laughs> multi gamer himself. Uh, no, just a, a really strong team on paper. I mean, they just need to put it together in game. 30 seconds left. Envy trying to mount a comeback. Nameless goes for the through ball. I think. Man, should be able to get that. Yeah. That's going to be a two-point play. Envy, oh, he didn't grab the ball. Oh, he just ran straight over it with 15 seconds left. That could have been the game-changing moment. Yeah. And it turns out it is the game-changing moment because SB are going to pick up the 3-1 win over Team Envious. That means they go through to the semifinal. Honestly, SB versus Stunner as a semifinal would not have expected that. But I'm favoring SB to make it to the grand final of this 5K. And if they were to somehow pull out a win in this 5K... They pro point wise, pro points, dude. Yeah. they they make can it rain over yeah. there. All yeah. the GB lives that they've won, plus a potential 5k, even finishing second in the 5k would be massive. Right, even finishing second, you see uh, Nameless right there. He is just pretty upset because he had that one play where he could have gone for the two points, and unfortunately just ran over the drone. Well, full screen up, Optic Gaming versus Prof though. This one a bit of a bloodbath. <laughs> 128 to 32. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty one-sided, not yeah. gonna lie. Fizz on your screen, he has Parasite on the hill. Prof trying to mount a comeback. Parasite is 19 and 16. That may well be the definition of piggyback right there. Yeah, but they're getting killed. Doesn't matter. And I know, but I was trying to be, what? Trying to be optimistic for a Parasite. Oh, oh no, Parasite's playing well. 
they're, they're, the team is just not winning now. That's, uh, that's <laughs> the only problem. 9 and 19. <laughs> Ricky's 13 and 21. Legal is 11 and well, 19. That's the thing. In order to beat this Optic Gaming team, you need everybody to play well. Yeah. You need you everyone to go off. You can't afford... Yeah, you need everybody to slay and just play consistent. And that's the thing. They're just going to... This team, you know, in actuality, the way they should play is they should just play as fast as possible and just try and force as many one-on-one -on -one engagements as possible. Yeah, Optic just had an eight... Kill feed, yeah. an eight kill kill feed, just all blue. I mean, if everywhere. you can, if you're off the gaming and you can just force as many fights as you can with those players, uh, you're gonna win one on one gun battles. You're going to win a decent amount of them. Yep, and that's kind of what we we talk about when we talk about the way that they play their hard point. You see, up to yeah. gaming, they're a team who rotates so late because they can just win the gunfights yeah. on the hard point and just take it by brute force as opposed to you know early rotations and try and get a good setup. It's almost as if their setup is just so different to everyone else's that it, it really does work out for them. Formal, 30 and 13. 31 Formal and 13. 32 32 and 13. and 13. Jeez, Louise, that's a three-piece for Formal. And he doesn't look like he's going to stop anytime soon. Yeah, and uh, you know, since uh, this team's formed, you know, they've had some ups and downs on hard point and I think you will see when Skunk and Formal, you know, kind of lead in the kill to death ratio department, and Krim is more near even, that's when this team blows people out on hard point. I think it's when, it, it's odd, Ben, because, you know, you have two, two players who really, you know, Formal and Skunk don't really do the OBJ too much. I mean, they can, they're, they, it's not when they're at their best. They're at their best when they can just roam and be aggressive and just kill. Right. And I think, you know, it makes a lot more sense for Krim to end up helping Nade with the objective than you know, either of those guys. I yeah, think, I, I think agree. when when this team struggles on hardpoint, it's because Scum and Formal are focused too much on that objective play. I think when this team is really on fire on hardpoint, it's when you see plays like that. Krim just coming into the hill, picking up a two piece, and then dying, and then Nade able to come in, pick up these one kills, and then get that time. See, that's the scary thing for me. When you have a player like Krim, who's kind of doing that support objective based role. Yeah. That, like, Krim. Krim, a guy whose accuracy is godlike, a guy who can just go off and take over yeah. a game by himself. When he's helping nature on a hard point, I mean, you're just not going to win hard point. Like, right. it, it really is that but, simple. I mean, when you have you have formal and scum, you know, Exa somebody's going to have to take right. the back seat a little bit. And I think Krim is more comfortable where he can play better. He's, he's a, still effective that way. Right. I think if you were to tell... No formal or scum to get on the hill, they would still be good, but they wouldn't really be as effective. I think Krim can still be as effective doing right. that. Just winning those crucial gunfights. And Almost 41 and 19. Yeah, he's with two minutes 13 left, and to be honest, this game's pretty much already over. It's a pretty demoralizing play for, for Prof, to be honest, who looked pretty good so far, but that's saying, Colin, Skump's already at 30 and 20. Yeah, they just ran into a buzz. Krim is almost at 30 and 26. Formal is at 42 and 20, and this is the Optic Gaming, which, when you see play Respawn, oh, it's it like, just kind of makes you scared it's silly. Your opposition player. It's, it's just silly, to be honest. I mean, they can just... They can pretty much do anything. They can rotate late. They can, they can get away with so many things just because they can kill people. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <clears throat> Krim... Can he drop his 30 bomb? Looking for a kill. There it is. So Crim's on 30. Scum's on 31. Formal potentially playing 50 if he can somehow get six kills. He has a minute and a half left to do so. It's Formal Cam now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll appreciate this man, one of the best FPS players or console FPS players in history. Halo champion, Call of Duty champion, and all round beast, really. I mean, he's Metal just Lodge. a great gamer in general. I mean, he can he, pick up anything. Diamond League of Legends player. He's um, <laughs> double A. No, I think he's even higher than double AK. I think he's like a Master Eagle Counter Strike player. Yeah, I, I believe every every game he's ever played, he's basically good. At. He's really good at Hearthstone too, from what uh, Stro told me. That's a funny game, yeah. Envy, but Hotpoint's gonna rotate. Formal needs three kills, and he's got himself fifty. I wouldn't even jump on the Hotpoint at this point. I'm Formal. I, I just get get off that like. <laughs> Demoralize your opposition as we'll wait for Formal to come back off respawn. 48-24. And I feel like he's much more comfortable with the bow. We saw a few days ago, you know, he was trying the ASM one, but I think if there's one person for this team that's going to use the bow. Oh, is he going to get it? I think it's Formal. Oh, he missed his shots. Oh, he, he's, gonna, he's got one. I don't know, five, five seconds. Yeah, I love how he called, he called for nature. He was like, Nate, get off the hill. You could 100% tell, yeah. I think. 
They are going to jump back on it. He's not going to be able to get his 50. Parasite going to charge, and Parasite wins. Oh. Formal chokes, the only kill that mattered. Doesn't matter. Forget nope. he got 49 kills. I don't care. He didn't get 50. It doesn't matter. They won by more than 100. <laughs> no, don't care. Don't care. Scumpy almost dropped 42. Oh, yeah. He caught up at the very end there. 11 caps from Nate Shot, 6 caps from Scump and Krim, and 8 from Formal. Defense column. You know, Scump had five, Nate had three, Krim had two, but just look the majority the of those kills. Just look at the deaths yeah, column. Let's, the let's go. Let's bring, bring up the, the scoreboard again, Will. Yeah. 36, 35, times, 35. Dude. Yeah, Ricky dropped 40 kills. AK, oh no, he dropped a 40 bomb, 40 deaths. Yeah. yeah that would, that, that sucks. Um, it really does, but 1.96 KD ratio from Formal. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's going to win you a game of half point. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, the... <laughs> really not much to break down there other than one person went double positive, one person <laughs> dropped another four, almost 40, and uh, that was pretty much it. Yep, <laughs> pretty much. So <laughs> we're going to get to a quick commercial break. One more 10. Game number two from the semifinal, Optic Gaming versus Prof.